All right, so today we're going to learn to work combination circuits. In particular, we're going to be focusing just on resistance total today. So first, let's define exactly what a combination circuit is. So a combination circuit is a circuit with elements of series and parallel within the same circuit. So in order to work these circuits, you have to be knowledgeable about both the series rules and the parallel rules. So what we're going to end up with after all these videos are done is applying six rules total, three for series and three for parallel. So let's go through those rules really quickly. So we know that in a series circuit, current only has one path to travel from point A to point B. So therefore, current in a series circuit is going to be the same through all components. So total current is the current everywhere. Now, voltage in a series circuit is always going to add up to your total because sometimes what we call a series circuit is a voltage divider circuit. So the total voltage drops in a series portion will always add up to total. And then as far as resistance goes in a series circuit, total resistance is just the sum of all the resistors added together. So now looking at parallel portions. So in parallel, we sometimes call that a current divider circuit. So with that being said, current has multiple paths to take. So the individual currents will add up to total current. For instance, if I have two different branches or two resistors in parallel with each other, two amps through each one, that would give us a total circuit current of four amps. So looking at voltage in a parallel circuit, so voltage is the same. With how a parallel portion is wired to the source, it has the same potential or the same electrical connection as the source. So we say that voltage stays the same. And then resistors in a parallel circuit or resistance is always going to be what we call the reciprocal method. So the total resistance will always be lower than the lowest valued resistor in your circuit. So those six rules right there is going to apply to a single circuit. And what rules we must use at what point depends on if we're working with series portions or parallel portions. All right, so starting out with just resistance. So this video is just going to focus on how to get total resistance in a combination circuit. So as you can see, we have a circuit with series and parallel components in it. So the first thing that you want to do, and I always think of it like this, when you're solving these circuits, what you want to do is you want to break these circuits down. You want to combine what's in series, combine what's in parallel, and you want to simplify the circuits and do what we call redraws. So we're going to redraw this circuit as we go, and that makes it much simpler when you go to work the whole circuit, which we'll do in the upcoming videos. So the rule of thumb here is when you're breaking a combination circuit down, it's like you want to fold it this way to simplify it. And then when you go to work everything out, you're going to fold it back out. So when we are combining elements, we always want to start at the end that is opposite of where our source is going to be. So if we had a source or a voltage source in this circuit, we would place it right here. So to start simplifying it, we're going to start at this end and work our way towards the source, working at one branch at a time. 
So the first thing we want to look at is we want to start at the very end here. So looking at R4 and R5, because this is the last branch in this circuit, we see that these resistors are connected in series with each other. So to combine these two resistors, remember our rule for resistors in series. They just add up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine R4 and R5 into one resistor that is 200 ohms plus 200 ohms is going to be 400 ohms. So my first redraw is going to be a combination resistor that I'm going to call RC4 and 5. RC stands for resistor combination 4 and 5, and that new resistor is going to be 400 ohms. So what we're going to do is we're going to do redraw number 1. So I still have R1 here, I still have R3 here, and I still have R2 here. But then on this branch, I'm going to combine these two resistors into one, and I'm going to call this RC 4 and 5. So again, R4 and R5 added together in series would give me a new total of 400 ohms. So now I can fill in my other resistors. I have R3, which is 400 ohms. I have R1, which is 200 ohms. And I have R2, which is 100 ohms. So this is what redraw number one should look like. So again, I just combined R4 and 5 in series and rename that RC4 and 5, which is 400 ohms. So now, starting at the back again. So remember, I always want to work from here towards my source. I'm going to look at what I can combine next. So looking here, now that I've got the two series resistors out of the mix, what do I see now? I see that R3 and RC are in parallel with each other. So they are in parallel with each other. So now I'm going to do another redraw and I'm going to combine these two resistors into a single resistor and I have to parallel these two values. So remember in order to do that it's going to be a new combination, which I'm going to call RC3, 4, and 5. So that's going to be RC3 through 5 is equal to 1 divided by 1 over 400 plus... 1 over 400. And that's going to give me this new resistor combining these two. So remember in your calculators, you want to type in 400, 1 over, plus 400, 1 over, hit your equals button, and then 1 over that answer. And what you should get if you're following along is 200 ohms. So R3 and RC4 and 5 combined together in parallel is going to give me a new resistor value, which is 200 ohms. Okay? So now, just for space purposes, I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to create another redraw. So this redraw is going to be combining these two. So redraw number two 
is going to be R1. My new combination resistor and R2. So R1 is 200 ohms. My new resistor, RC 3 through 5, was 200 ohms. And then R2 is 100 ohms. So I'm going to stop right there. What do I now have? I now have just a series circuit. So the whole point of this is you want to break these circuits down and keep doing these redraws and combining, working this way towards the source until you arrive at either a purely series circuit or a purely parallel circuit. Okay? So once we do that, I now have R1, RC3 through 5, and R2, which are all in series with each other. So how do I add resistors in series with each other? I just add them up. So 200 ohms plus 200 ohms plus 100 ohms is going to give me an R total ohms. So that is all there is to working a combination circuit. So no matter how large these circuits get, you always want to just do this method. So you always want to start at the end opposite of the source, take it branch by branch and break each branch down. So if they're in series, add them. If they're in parallel, reciprocate them until you arrive at either a series or a parallel circuit. And then once you do that, you can get your total resistance. Okay? So that's all there is to getting total resistance. So in the next video that's going to be posted, we're going to take that a step further, and we're going to work the rest of the circuit. So now that we have total resistance out of the way, so practice that, and once you get good with getting total resistance, the rest of it's a breeze. All right? So thank you guys, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out uh, to Doug Wilson, and um, he will be glad to answer any questions that you have. All right? Thank you.